This is Chewing the Fat Summer Sports Show with your host, Bevan Jones. Well, g'day and welcome to another edition of Chewing the Fat. Bevo here with you and got a very special guest, the 2018 Sanford Premiership skipper from the North Adelaide Roosters. That is Maxi Thring. Maxi, great to have you on Chewing the Fat. What was it like winning your first ever Premiership and the first since 1991 for the Roosters? Yeah, well, thanks for having me, Big Bevo. Um, oh, mate, it was one of the most proudest moments of my life, um, stepping out in that field and, and getting the chocolates. Um, Really unreal experience, um, but uh, you know you look back on the season as a whole, and boy, it was emotionally challenging. Um, the amount of work and effort that um, the team and, and the club put into um, winning that flag was immense. Um, you know, you talk about round one when uh, Centrals beat us by ten goals out there, and um, unfortunately uh, we lost one of our uh, uh, well-respected trainers in Vaughan Taylor. So he he unfortunately died um, straight after the siren. So. That was a pretty harrowing experience um, f for the boys and everyone involved. So to be able to regroup and uh, rebuild from, from that uh, event um, was fantastic. And we went out the next week and smashed West Adelaide. So, um, and the, the spirit and uh, confidence just grew from there. So um, it was just unreal to be able to put together a full season um, with such a young group and, uh, and win the flag. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. And it must have been difficult as well. I mean, the 19th man controversy, everyone knows about it. Probably think about, think about <laughs> yeah. it. But, you know, it must have been really hard going into that grand final, not even knowing whether you're going to be playing or not first maximum. Yeah, definitely, mate. Preparation for that was uh, out of the ordinary, so to speak. Um, sort of Monday and Tuesday night, as you said, uh, we weren't sure whether we were in the grand final. Um, and I also had a calf complaint, so I wasn't really confident in playing at that time. So um, the night times were, were stressful, absolutely. But... Um, you know, you go to the club and it stems from the down, uh, top to down and uh, Joshy Carr was just so calm, collected and so were the other coaches and sort of uh, secretes into the players that calmness and um, it sort of eventuated that training that whole week was, was just on point, we were, we were in the zone and to come out and play the way we did against Nord was, was just... Uh, was amazing. Yeah, it yeah. really was. And it's a phenomenal game for everyone. It's oh, just one of the best grand finals I've ever seen. And yeah, obviously the first premiership since 91, as I mentioned before. But yeah. um, mate, talk to us about your career and um, I guess uh, f from the start to now in how you became a rooster skipper. Yeah, sure. Well, uh, originally I'm from Caniva, which is in the southeast. Um, so I grew up there on a farm for 10 years um, with my two older brothers. So well, obviously loving footy and knew all the players and that sort of thing. Um, it was just a, a good load of fun down there. Um, and then I moved to, back to the Big Smoke in Adelaide and started my um, career at uh, Paynham Nord Union, the, the mighty black and white uh, magpies, and wore the number one on the back, like Leon, Neon Leon, Neon Davis. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, he, he was uh, my favourite player back in the day. Um, and then, yeah, moved, moved to Sturt, um, played all my juniors at Sturt Football Club, which was, was a great experience also. Um, you know, loved the double blues, loved my time there. Um, but unfortunately, you know, Pembroke School, where I went, sort of, uh, took over and um, I was barely playing at Sturt so the, the decision to move to North Adelaide when I was 18 was, um, was, a, was a pretty, pretty easy uh, decision to make because my brother George uh, who played league footy at Sturt decided to move so I basically just followed him and um, have been here ever since and you know, I'm a rooster boy through and through now. <laughs> as a brand of premiership skipper to get That's to right, well. yeah. so, must have been some pretty amazing uh, celebrations after the grand final Maxi. Yeah, yeah, there was. I think, um, as you said, you know, 20, 27 years, I, th I think it was, um, since our last premiership. So anyone who bleeds red and white was probably partying for months on end, um, including us. Um, oh, if I had to pick a couple, I think Mac is I don't even know if he made it to um, Mad Monday. You know, Monday morning, he was a big pile of dust, big sleazy. Um, and you, you can't leave out um, Slam and Sam and McInerney. He's, he, he's fantastic. He always raises the bar um, on the drink. So, you know, if I left him out, he'd, he'd probably shoot me because he's, he's amazing on the drink. He really is. <laughs> <laughs> and season 2019, obviously, it's going to be a bit of a tough one. You've lost five key players um, to AFL and, and retirement and that sort of thing as well. So, But you have brought in Jake and E, which is terrific. But yeah. how do you see season 2019 going, you know, trying to go back to back, and but also being down a couple of games because of the suspension? Yeah, sure. I mean, I think it's important not to um, uh, look at it in a negative way. I mean, I know sort of the exterior people might say you're crazy for saying that, but, um, you know, it's important to look at it in, in a positive and light way and say, you know what, boys, we're minus four points down. What a challenge. You know, in, in history, this has never happened. So um, I'm excited for the challenge. And as you said, we've lost, um, you know, five players to the draft and, and Lee Riswick, who's been an outstanding member of the team for many or so years, probably longer than I was born. <laughs> <You know? laughs> um, 
yeah, he, he was fantastic. And, uh, you know, I just think that happens to every team. You know, players come and go. But um, we won the reserves premiership too. So I think we've got a lot of talent coming through. Um, whether or not that talent matches up to the players that got drafted, probably not. But the hungry is ever, and boy, I'll take that. <laughs> and you mentioned before as well, um, you know, exciting season ahead. But you're the skipper, the solo skipper. And at the moment, there's a lot of talk about the joint captaincy with the Crows and the Power <laughs> both going for joint captains. Yeah. Um, is there any talk about it in North Adelaide, or they're quite happy having you as a solo skipper, Maxi? Um, there hasn't been any talk of it yet. But if there was talk about it, it's probably behind my back. You know, I don't know. <laughs> they probably wouldn't involve me in that conversation. But. Um, um, oh, look, my thoughts on it are, Big Bevo, I, I think uh, history sometimes and tradition gets in the way of uh, progression. So um, in, in the case of Port Adelaide, I know how we have a, a big um, tradition of the number one Guernsey, and there's a bit of uproar about that. But, look, if, you've got to trust the people behind it. If the coaches and the club think that two people uh, is better in charge of, of getting the club to a more successful period, then I say so be it. But... I'm not saying that's a great thing because there's obviously complications that would go with having two leaders. I mean, we don't have two prime ministers, for, for example. <laughs> um, you know, there, there might be some issues. They might be wanting to take the club in different directions. There might be some angst between the captains or the players about it. Um, so there's certainly complications, but I think you've just got to go to back the team in and, and say, look, the officials and the coaches are in charge. Um, they know best and let's get behind them. You know, enough of this sort of chit-chat and bagging other teams. Let's just get behind them and, um, yeah, hopefully a more successful period Follows. Yeah, well said. Now, a um, bit of a light-hearted note. Uh, who are some of the funnier boys at the club there, Max? They like to play a few practical jokes on the other lads. Uh, oh, look, Lewis Hender, his name's Savage um, at the club because he's, the name speaks to itself. He's, he's a bit of a, um, a harsh bastard. Um, <laughs> you know, you're wearing different coloured socks or something, he'll point it out. Um, don't you worry about that. But, um, oh, look, I think I'm going to have to go back to my mate Slam and Sam and McInerney because... He's such a different unit. I, I'm thinking about him now and smiling. Like, I, yeah, we just get along, and um, he's just a ripper lad. So I would have to say Sam and Sam and McInerney, I think, on that one. <laughs> and the boys get around married at first sight as well. It seems to be the whole whole biggest thing around Australia at the moment. Oh, mate, um, I know. Uh, I'm not really too sure. There hasn't been a lot of talk about that um, during trainings. But, look, if there was one bloke, I'd have to say the Hender Bender, Lewis Hender, because his girlfriend watches it. So, you know, he does pretty much whatever she says. So... Um, <laughs> Um, not to have a go at you, Louis, because I watch it myself. So let's wrap this up. I need to watch some reruns over there. So. <laughs> Unreal show. Unreal viewing. Yeah, so. And uh, just to finish with Maxie, yeah, um, another thing that's had a lot of uh, controversy has been AFLX. Did you watch it on Friday night? I did happen to watch that, Bevo. I did, yeah. And what um, was your take on it? I liked it. Um, I'm, I'm not really sure on what uh, other people have said um, on social media and that sort of thing, but um, I thought it was great purely on the fact that not, not the rules as such and, and the game plan, that sort of thing, but I just like watching the best of the best. So, um, you know, you got you know 50 or so players out there who are all A1 players and it's, it's even better seeing them play against their teammates and, you know, with opposition players as their teammates. I think it's unreal. And um, it reminds me back of the day of the state games, you know, yes. SA... WA, Vic, all that sort of stuff and you ask anyone and they love that period um, and I'm not sure how we get back to that but um, it was reminiscent of, of those days. Oh, I think I'm absolutely, there's so many people out there who just love to have State of Origin back and oh, absolutely. Of those, so let's hope we can uh, get it done. I know. Even if it's every five years or something this one, it's the SA versus Victoria. Maxie. 100%. So, yeah. 100%. Well Maxi Three, it's been a pleasure having you on Chewing the Fat, mate. Thank you no so worries. much. Thanks, Bevo. All Appreciate the best it. in the, the season 29 in ahead and I hope you guys can go back to back. Appreciate it. Thanks, mate. Thank you.